old. It's Tamaki. Um, I am basically going to do a braid out video. Um, basically 21 weeks uh, post relaxer. I got my relaxer last Thursday. So after that, when I got my relaxer, I got my hair in, um, I guess you could say, in a sister curl. So I didn't use any kind of heat or anything like that. just had to blow dry. So then after that, I did a braid out uh, yesterday. And so now this is the result of the braid out. So it's kind of kind of wavy. So it's a, it's a nice look. And it's really simple. You can let it air dry. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a pretty healthy hairstyle to do. So from there, um, so this is basically, I had the braid out pretty much most of the day. It lasted the whole day. Um, I like it, the braid out because it gives me more texture because when you have a relaxer it just makes your hair so straight so where it has really no body and it's pretty limp. So just by making braids and usually I just do four to five braids, two on each side and then from there uh, I let it air dry and then I just put a bonnet on overnight and then basically it comes out fresh and basically the same way. Um, so I'll demonstrate basically the products that I use for braid out. So the products that I use I use a little bit of hair milk, Carol's daughter hair milk, and I use a little bit of shea butter, very little bit, not a whole lot, just a little bit of shea butter, and I use some coconut oil, and I like the coconut oil because it's not too heavy, at least not on my hair, it's not too heavy. So first what I do, I just take a little bit of hair milk. I'll take about maybe a dime size hair milk for each section. And I just basically put that on my sec on this section here. And first I thought I might use a comb, but really I don't need to use a comb. I just kind of separate it and part it kind of right down the middle. And then after I put that on, I'll put just a little bit of dab of shea butter. Not much. Just a little bit. Because since my hair is freshly relaxed, I really don't need a whole lot. And it'll weigh it down. So I just use just a little bit for shine. And you might say, boy, this sure do seem like a lot of product that she's using. But my hair soaks up a whole lot of oil. So it's, it's not a lot. So I use just kind of about just a little bit of coconut oil. And then I just put that on my on, on my section. And I basically do each section like that. And I do each section like that because I just want to make sure that each section is moisturized. Um, and then after that, see I pretty much still have a wave pattern in my hair. So I pretty much braid my hair. And actually I braid my hair under. And I think I braid my hair under because... I'm left-handed. So, I didn't realize it until I was like, oh my god, I actually need to braid my hair under. So, basically I braid, and then my hair is so long that it'll get, make sure that you don't get it tangled at the bottom. And then I just braid under. And then I continue to braid under. And then I braid under. And, I mean, you can, if you want to, after you finish braiding, you can use a, um, like a, uh, what am I trying to say? You can use a roller, but I don't, I don't use a roller. I basically just, I guess you could almost call this like a Bantu knot braid out, because I actually, after I braid my hair, and I basically try to braid it as far to the ends as possible far to the end as possible. That's one section. Because then I take the same section, take this section, and actually I could, if I want to, I could make two out of it. If, you know, if you want to, I could make two out of it. But just for the sake of time, I'll just do one. 
So I proceed since I already put the hair milk on, I'll just put a little bit of shea butter. Just a not even I can't I mean just a smidgen of shea butter and I just put that on my hair. Just for moisture. Then I add a smidgen, just a smidgen. I mean just just a little bit. A little bit of coconut oil. And I think I will just but since this this part is so thick. I think I'll braid this section here. Now it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be like this uniform perfect thing, you know, just just as long as you make sure that you braid each section. And make sure that you know each section is is tightly braided and just make sure that you're you braid pretty much all the way down to the end. Or as close to the end as possible. See, since I already did this section, you can finger comb it if you want. Then I'll just do that. Then I just proceed spray this section. So what I do for the sake of time, um, after I finish braiding this section, I braid the other section and then I come back with how I just twist everything and then I pin it so it just doesn't take up. Okay, so that's those three. I'm back. Okay, I pretty much have three braids. Three braids on each side. All completed. And what I also like to do, I just like to, I took a little shape, just a smidgen of shea butter, and I like to seal the ends. I just think it, it gives them a little bit more moisture. I mean, it's just something that I do. Um, I just seal the ends just for more moisture and it pretty much keeps them in place which is nice and I just take just a smidgen just a smidgen to put on there and okay then after that I basically I take all of them together and I just twist. I kind of just twist around. And I just twist. And then I twist. Keep twisting. In a circle. And I mean sometimes, I mean, I don't even wear this, wear this out like this. And then after that, after I take it all around, I'll just pin it. And I'll just pin it in place. And then I'll just put on a bonnet or whatever, and then I'll go to sleep. But sometimes I like to, I'll miss my, under the nap of my neck. So I'll sometimes put a little coconut oil underneath there too. Okay, and that's pretty much how it looks. So, not bad. Okay, so I'm finished. So what I'll do is, is that I'll uh, put on a satin bonnet, and I will sleep sleep on it overnight, and then I'll take it down in the morning and see how it looks. So see you in the morning. <laughs>